Great. Hi, Bernd. Uh, really nice to have you uh, with us at InBlock Network man. YouTube channel, and uh, really good to find you here at the Genesis DevCon. Happy to be here. And uh, Tezos has been one of the primary uh, partners supporting the initiative and and doing really well. And you've been in the Tezos ecosystem for quite a bit, a uh, long time. More than Tezos today, we will talk about your upcoming uh, product, uh, which is known as Tezshore. And uh, we'll also get to know a bit about you personally, uh, uh, how you met your co-founder uh, and how you started this initiative known as Tezshore, mm -hmm. and a little bit about Tezshore later. Uh, but let's first uh, dive into you know who's burned and, uh, and how did you uh, meet your co-founder? Yeah, yeah, sure. So I... Uh took a different path than most blockchain people in 2017. I didn't do any shitcoin ICO, but I joined a corporate. I joined one of the biggest insurance companies in the Netherlands. And there Which are is? An ASR. ASR. And I was lead blockchain architect there and uh, a developer. And we did cool projects with insurance companies and also the Dutch government. And But every time when we came close to production of a cool project, uh, higher level management would say to us, ho ho, we're an insurance company and not a tech company. Yeah. And they even told me, if you want to innovate, you should go to Silicon Valley. So that's when I left the company and I went to Silicon Valley. To Draper. Uh, yeah, I went to Draper University in entrepreneurship training over there. And that's where I met Om. Yeah. And that's my co-founder, Om Malvia. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I met them, I met him there for the first time. So. How do you know uh, if he's a good co-founder? Yeah. So that was a challenge. But one of the weeks while we were there, uh, we had to go on a survival training done by ex-Navy SEALs. Oh. So uh, that was quite intense. People were really breaking down over yeah. there. But yeah. Ohm and I were just laughing the whole awesome. week. Awesome. Yeah. So we knew that we could handle stressful situations yeah. together. So, uh, yeah, so cool. we knew that we would be a great match for a startup. That's, that's amazing. So uh, uh, for those who don't know, you come from Netherlands, mm -hmm. uh, right? And the beautiful city of Leiden, mm -hmm, correct. Uh, which I happened to visit uh, yeah. lately as well. And amazing. Uh, so tell us more about the, the, the culture and uh, the Netherlands culture and how the startup culture in Netherlands is. And uh, did did it give you kind of a push? Because what I also know about, about you is that you, you took, uh, uh, you know, an off-road situation, off-road, uh, you know, life situation. Like it was not a conventional way to go about it. No, what no. you did, and no. and your other friends are still on your conventional path, yeah, and they yeah, are yeah. really inspired by you. Yeah, and yeah. I've met them behind your back. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> and I know. Uh, and so so what happened, and why did you say let's not go, uh, let's drop out, and let's yeah. do your thing because yeah. time needs it or whatever, you know? Yeah. What was it? What was the, what was that about? Just as in India, in the Netherlands, is still a culture that you need to get a piece of paper from a university. A degree. Yeah, you need to get a degree. And if you don't have a degree, you don't have a backup plan. And that's insecure. And I never really believed in that. And Silicon Valley showed me that it's possible without a degree. And it really inspired me. And when I came back, I told everyone around me um, what was possible. and. Also, the difference between Silicon Valley and the Netherlands. And in the Netherlands, they, they all, always ask if you have a crazy idea, are you sure you're going to do that? Are you sure? You don't, yeah. Why would you do that? And in the US, they, they say, why not? Why not? Yeah, try it. So certainty, uh, the uncertainty of some, some event, mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, the Netherlands is, is a little scared and, yeah. and, and, and US is more aggressive. Yeah, it, uh, it, Netherlands is really careful. Valley, especially in the valley. Yeah, but the Netherlands is careful. And that, that yeah. in some business, in old school business, that's good. That's good. But we live in a super fast changing world with all these new technologies and you need to try new things. Absolutely. And they teach that at Draper University as well. You should fail and fail again until you succeed. And fail really fast. Yeah. And don't be afraid to fail. Yeah. And that's what they kept pushing during that period in Silicon Valley. They yeah. let us do freestyle rapping, for example. <laughs> yeah. I would have, I was, before I came there, I was afraid to be on a stage to present. And now um, I'm being flown around the world to present Tezos and Tezure and exactly. help other people. Uh, yeah. So it's, 
I would advise anyone that wants to do entrepreneurship, go to Silicon Valley and, and at least once. Uh, get inspired by, yeah. by the ecosystem there. Yeah, good. So uh, coming back to the development cycle, coming back to you, when, you, when you left that insurance company, you mm -hmm. went to Silicon Valley, you found home and you, and, and, and you knew that we, you guys had to do something and you did not something known as test show, but you did something known as tester and tester. Uh, became one of the most used uh, uh, testing tools for smart contract deployments on um, on, te on Tezos, and, and and you guys. So what was that journey about? And and then and then you came to Tesher, right? And then Tesher um, we 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 started out with Tesher, and um, we we found it very challenging to uh, develop on Tezos itself. The, there was not a lot of resources out there yet, so we. We wanted to develop a tool that made it easier for new developers to start development on Tezos. So we we applied for a grant for a tool that uh, where you can uh, run an own private Tezos node uh, on your local machine in a very fast and easy way. We also recently launched a graphical interface that makes it even easier yeah. to access. Uh, uh, otherwise, it was uh, command line. Online. Yeah, it was command line. Yeah. Most developers know how to use that, yeah. but still, um, some. Some developers also like GUIs. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. still, yeah. It's still it's, it's, some, some are still very yeah. lazy, and yeah. I was also like that. <laughs> I, I, I like GUIs. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we also, for example, want to uh, now as a new version, we want to integrate um, uh, a text editor for Mickelson okay. so that you can really learn how Mickelson works. And yeah. we really think that that can help uh, educate new developers on, on smart contract development Absolutely. on Tezos. But we, we, we do that in parallel with uh, developing our insurance platform. Yeah. And we have a separate team for that, yeah. uh, developing the Tezos tool. And it's all open source. Uh, it's all for the community. And, Amazing. Uh, yeah. And on the other hand, we, we do Tezos. Yeah. So, you know, now coming coming to uh, the, your past experience in insurance and how you you always saw that there's, there's something missing, you know, it's not complete mm -hmm. yet. And it's even if it's complete, it, it might not be as transparent as it should mm -hmm. be, yeah. or there might be some uh, some leakages uh, or in, in terms of profits mm -hmm. uh, that are going to various intermediaries yeah. that should not be. And in that case, that kind of risk appetite for the insured or in the insurer uh, sense gets a little low, right? Yeah. And it benefits everyone in the uh, the party, the lender and the lendy. Yeah. Uh, so insurer and the insurer, sorry, uh, in that and 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 that is kind of a B2B insurance marketplace platform, yeah. if, if, I'm, if I'm wrong. Yeah, so what, what can we, we know a bit more about it? Yeah, so we, we, we are developing a platform that enables our own users to create their own group insurance in a peer to peer manner. So we use uh, Tesla smart contracts for decentralization of fund management, yeah. and we use machine learning for risk analysis and claim verification. You can do a lot of uh, insurance products in a parametric way, pure on blockchain. Yeah. But if you want to create more complex insurance products, uh, you need to have some form of risk analysis and yeah. some form of claim verification. And that's Absolutely. why we uh, have um, some centralized parts in uh, our platform, and that's where we use the machine learning. Right. And because we have this structure, we are not an insurance company because we don't manage the funds. We actually already talked to regulators and said, OK, this is what we set out to build. What are we? And they said, we don't know. <laughs> you <laughs> so are not an insurance company, yeah. at least. So you, need, you don't need to comply to all these complex uh, So you're insurance a platform. They, yes. agreed, they ultimately agreed that you are a platform yeah. and not the insurance company underlying it. Yes. And right. now uh, the point comes in is that you're, you're a complete tech platform, mm -hmm. and which, which basically does risk analysis through yeah. machine learning. Yeah. And it, coming, coming to that, so the claim verification and the risk analysis, and also coming to the escrow part. Mm -hmm. So you must be having some partners um, and advisors around, around the world mm -hmm. who help you build these solutions as mm -hmm. well. Obviously, you are competent enough to, to uh, address those mm -hmm. and, and then embed it in, in technology. Yeah. Yeah. But you must be having some great support in, in terms Definitely. of uh, risk analysis and claim verification. Yeah, we, we are a tech company first. Yeah. We flip. We flipped the, the model that the insurance company told me yeah. of we're an insurance company, not a tech company. Mm -hmm. We are tech first yeah. and we have partners all around the world who give us advice uh, about risk analysis and claim verification. And uh, the most important part here is uh, we need to create the basis model, the basis uh, uh, for um, 
using uh, or to train our models, we need to have an average model first. Yeah. And that's the most complicated part right now. Yeah. And then when we have that, we can train the model with data from, for example, So how efficient, if I, if I ask from a machine learning point of view and a data scientist, mm -hmm. I, uh, how efficient is your model at the moment? What's the performance? Uh, I can't put a number on it right now, because but there, there uh, will be there will be various uh, different uh, models in the same yeah. model. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah and, correct, and, correct. And are they supervised or are they? It, it's now all supervised. All they're all supervised and learning. We we know, of course, that at first uh, we have a low accuracy. Yeah. But over time, we want to go up to a, a 98, 99 percent accuracy. And and uh, is, is was there a challenge finding historical data? Uh, yeah, so uh, that's definitely <laughs> definitely a challenge. So yeah. um, we set out as pure B two C, creating this insurance platform. Yeah. Um, but we also see a huge opportunity for B two B to work together with insurance companies to create the future of insurance, and um, because insurance companies do want to innovate, but they just don't know how. And they don't want to go to the tech side because they want to be an insurance company. Yeah, yeah. So if we work together, um, if we provide the tech and insurance companies provide the insurance knowledge, yeah. together we can create the future of insurance and at the same time leverage their data to train our models and we will give them access to an entire new group of users. Exactly. Exactly. That 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 sounds amazing. And even that sounds that's going to sound amazing to any good big insurance company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I think once you once you already have some traction. A lot of insurance companies want to be running behind you. We're already insane. talking to multiple insurance companies in Europe and the US, yeah. and recently also with uh, big players in the Indian uh, ecosystem. ecosystem. Yeah, they're also really interested in these kind of innovations. A lot of uh, multinational corporations uh, run the Indian uh, insurance ecosystem, such as uh, Max Life mm. and uh, Sun and Aviva. Yeah, if you have, if you you have any connections, please, uh, please, sure, please that, hit me up. Yeah, I, I will because my, my one of my brother's uh, best friend, he was always in insurance now. He's oh, in nice. Southeast Asia as well in Singapore. Uh, but yeah, but surely we, we talk about that in a, in a bit. So, uh, you know, at, at this moment, you're, you're at the uh, cusp where you, you have done great things on Tezos already. And uh, Tezos has empowered you with, with a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, you know, advisors, domain knowledge, resources, uh, funds, everything, right? Mm -hmm. Everything that you could, uh, you know, you would need to grow as big as your dreams are. Mm -hmm. uh, and and you, I, from where I see it, and I, I know you for the more than a quarter now, and it's it's been it's ama it's been amazing knowing you uh, personally. Likewise. Uh, and uh, uh, what would what would Tesor and the Tesos ecosystem as a whole, I would say, uh, need? Uh, from the Indian community at, at the moment and like you're based in Bangalore mm -hmm. Bangalore now and uh, this event is also happening in Bangalore what from the voice of inblocks uh, what would you like to say to the community of developers and enthusiasts who are uh, working in working in day in day out uh, in, in the blockchain ecosystem mm -hmm. and the AI uh, ecosystem by the way because we're we're involved in uh, AI in our other product mm -hmm. uh, so we <coughs> what what would you, as as the founder of of Tesla, uh, what, what what do you expect from the community, and what do you like to give back to the community with your with the foundation that you've yeah. start, with, with, with you've started? First of all, the, the, for me, this community here in India is the most exciting in the world. There's so much talent here; yeah. it's insane. It's insane, and still, not a lot of big players are here, and. We, we understand that you need local people to, to, to tackle uh, an ecosystem. For example, you can't come here uh, as a big company and just throw money at it. You Absolutely. need to be here on the ground. Absolutely. And I've already learned so much from you and from other people here in the ecosystem on how it works here. And yeah. it's really cool to work together and see the ecosystem grow. And um, Bit by bit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a, a year ago when I arrived here, um, you still had all these separate smaller communities. Yeah. And now today and yesterday, we're all together from all over India, all in one place. And it's just so excited to be in, in a country where where the, the growth is, is so huge mm -hmm. in, in just a year. And what we can do as Tejer is uh, hire people here. Mm -hmm. and develop our stuff here and that makes a lot of sense from a company perspective yeah. but also the, the, the talent here is amazing the, the yeah. educational system and from a Tesla's perspective uh, we are here to support the ecosystem 
support the leaders of the Indian blockchain ecosystem. Because we, as Tezos, we are not going to be the leaders. We are supporting That's why I get goosebumps when you yeah. <laughs> We are here to, to um, pr provide developer workshops, um, help people start a startup in blockchain, or we give grants for open source tools. We help you apply for the grants. And we we help, we'll guide you to the to the eco, to the grant uh, application yeah process. to the application process and yeah that that, yeah, that, that, that sums <laughs> it up that sums, sums yeah. it up uh, uh, but so so for people that don't know uh, that the is, mm -hmm. is is now based out of Bangalore the, the tech division is based yeah we're Bangalore. an American company we have yeah. an Indian subsidiary yeah we have our developers here because we feel that here uh, the developers. Uh, yeah, they, here in Bangalore, high quality developers, yeah. really high quality, quality developers, really and high and 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 really, uh, they they have the will to learn and 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 grow fast. You know yeah. that 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 kind of uh, India is, is a big country, right? Uh, some some might say it's the biggest rat race in the world, right? But everyone has this will, not being as a rat, but being you know as as a runner, as a horse. Yeah. And everyone, everyone wants to wants to learn really fast, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it's and it's difficult to describe exactly what what India make, what, why it's different from any other country. But yeah, I think it's really the passion that people have here. Absolutely. And yeah, the, it, the people that are already in the startup and blockchain ecosystem really want to push yeah. India forward. Yeah. And they want to do it from India and and grow this ecosystem. Yeah. And that's. Something I I didn't see anywhere in the world. Absolutely. So I I would say that from our side, from at Nblox, like we definitely would be associating, uh, uh, you know, with with Tezos, with, with with you all the time, supporting you all the time. We've done events already, already. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this was the third. Probably uh, one of the most successful events so far in so far in India. India. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Super cool. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks for that. But. Um, and we did it together, and this is just the beginning. Yeah, um, and and we're definitely gonna go ahead. And uh, I I let I want to let the community know that we're gonna be doing master classes and workshops uh, as well for the, uh, maybe in universities, but uh, maybe outside. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and and really get you know passion projects to come on and hand handhold them. Yeah. To learn, uh, you know, uh, the the new the new uh, you know low level language that yeah. we we have, which yeah. is. Michelson mm -hmm. and uh, and which is really good because it's as good as Jason, you know. And I'm a JavaScript guy, so any kind of object notations are good, <laughs> you know, uh, when it's readable. Mm -hmm. So it's very structured. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelson is really structured, and uh, and definitely every everything that I, I, we could support and I could support personally, it it be it be there. Um, I'm you. super excited to see what's going to happen this year, man. Because <laughs> what we've seen last year, I. Could not have imagined it. Yeah. So I'm just super excited to see what what what's to come for for Inblox, for yeah. Tezure, for Tezos uh, in yeah. India. Absolutely. And uh, thank you so much for giving you know your time and all the best to to you and Om, uh, your co-founder, and um, all the people that are already working with Tezure and Tezos India Foundation, which Thanks, you're running. Man. And you know, kudos to you guys. You did a, a great job, and I hope you do much much more for the Indian community at Thanks, large. All right. Thanks. Thanks.